All right, y'all. Sorry about that. Phone messed up again. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and close it out. And um, but um, the moral of the story is, man, fear the fear the Lord, man. You know, I didn't get a chance to go through the whole thing of Job, but we all know, even Christians know what Job went through. You know what I'm saying? Cause we're getting ready to go into time now. We're gonna we're gonna be tested like Job was, man. You know, we're gonna we're getting ready to go into that fiery furnace so that the impurities can be taken out of us, man. You know, we can't. And when you go through that furnace, man, you gotta keep your head up, man. You know, including myself, man. You know, including myself. You know, I just I just pray to the Most High that He gives me the strength to uh, be able to withstand the things that that's about to happen on this earth. Okay, but um, let's go to the book of uh, Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 6, verse 5 and 6. Probably, as a matter of fact, let's just go to it in this world here. I'll write the book of Proverbs, um, chapter 5. All right, chapter 5, no, chapter 3, verses 5 through 6. Okay. Um, it says, oh, that's Psalm. That's not, that's not Proverbs. Uh, okay. Uh, Proverbs chapter three, verses five through six. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not on thy own understanding. In all ways, acknowledge him and he should direct your path. Pretty much it. That's pretty much simple. And always acknowledge him. How do you acknowledge him? Well, when you go into the book of Job, what did Job do? He feared the Lord. What did Noah do? He feared the Lord. What did Yahweh Shah do? He feared the Lord, man. Okay. Lean not on your own understanding and all these things. What does it say? And um in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Your path. It says, trust. Okay, let me read it again. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the, in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not unto thine understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. That's pretty much it, man. You want salvation? Depend on the Lord. All right? So we're going to end it right there, man. And, um, oh, let me bring up one more scripture. Because at the end of the day, this is what it's boiled down to. Other than that microchip. If you take that chip, then you done all right so when a when when a scoffer comes to you man bring out that verse about the chip okay and also bring out this verse right here all right bring out this verse right because some people will come to you just talking nonsense that's leading to nowhere they just keep talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking it's like the wind you chase the wind what where are you gonna go what's the purpose of chasing the wind that's how people talk sometimes all right so Hit him up with this verse right here. All right. Conclusion. All right, let's go to Google. All right. Conclusion of the whole matter. Okay, this is the book of Ecclesiastes, uh, chapter 12, verse 13 through 14. All right, now it says, Let us hit the conclusion of the whole matter. The conclusion, the end. Okay, fear the Lord, keep his commandments. But this is the whole duty of man. Okay. This is the whole duty of man. And if a woman says, well, that excludes me, bitch, please. It does not exclude you. You go to church, right? It says, fear the Lord. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Lord. Keep his commandments. But this is the whole duty of man. Verse 14. For the Most High shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. So at the end of the day, you're going to have to answer to the Most High. All right? Whether it be good, whether it be evil, um, 
Yahweh Shai said he knows us by our works, man. All right? The scripture says, was that Yahweh Shai? Let me look it up. Just to be on the safe side, because I don't want to add the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know the water by Shai. Uh, the book of uh, Revelation chapter 2. Let's look it up in the sword here. The book of Revelation chapter 2. Chapter 2, starting at verse 9. Okay, Yahweh Shah said, I know thou wert in tribulation and poverty, but thou art which. I know the blasphemy of those of them that say which are Jews and are not, but they are the synagogue of, of Satan. Okay? So the most high knows us by our works, man. All right? So uh, with that, I want to give all praises and glory to Call Halai La, Obanawa, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Akakadash Barakadash. Shalom.